a professor at OsloMet. I work in the product design department. I mainly work with systemic design and uh, game dynamics. We are trying to see the whole situation. So we are interested in what we are designing uh, and how it produces different types of behavior and thinking. I think it leads to strategic thinking. Systemic design leads the designer to understand the systems that they intervene. One main tool is that we try to visualize everything. We make big maps, for example, and uh, the idea is to visualize everything. So if you think of, uh, instead of having a report like in a book, we put the whole book on one big visualization, so you can see all pages at the same time. It's a very good tool for uh, cooperation, so the designer would would, uh, could work on this big visualization with the stakeholders, with the uh, different types of interests and users and non-users. So it's a very iterative process and it's very dynamic and, and uh, leads to a um, very different type of understanding, I think. When you have the whole map and you have gone through it and you performed analysis on very many different stages in it and, and exactly try to describe the systems, describe the structures and all the relations, a lot of opportunities of, of change will emerge that will help you to make decisions.